Easy tips to get the outswinger going. Introduction. Swinging the ball is a key aspect of successful bowling. One of the most common problems is losing your swing. Often the bowler or the coach looks immediately at the grip and the release. Although these are important factors, one of my key checkpoints is the front shoulder position and body posture that goes with it. Front shoulder and posture. For the outswinger, if the front shoulder gets low and is not quite side on enough, the action in the gather will become open and unbalanced. This makes the release point too high or past the perpendicular. The seam will shift away from the ideal position towards in-swing and or a scramble seam will result. Often losing outswing is not a wrist issue but a posture issue. The tip is to get the posture set up correctly in the run-up as it is very difficult to change your posture in the gather. Run in with your front shoulder slightly turned towards the target and your upper body leaning slightly forward. Wrist snap. Correct release of the ball with full wrist snap generally leads to maximum pace. The fuller the wrist snap, the more backspin is likely to be imparted on the ball and this helps keep the seam stable and in the intended direction. An easy drill to help this is to stand with a partner, isolate your wrist and upper arm and simply flick the ball to your partner varying your distances. Start the exercise front on and then progress to releasing from your normal bowling posture. Seam direction. With a new ball, which is equally shiny on both sides, it is essential that the seam points precisely in the direction you would like the ball to swing. If the seam angle travels perfectly straight towards the stumps, the ball will not swing. In effect, the seam is a rudder. If your posture is good, this is the time to experiment with grip or wrist position. Looking after the ball. One of the biggest omissions of bowlers at all levels is not showing the ball enough, or sometimes not at all. My tips for showing the ball are 1. Moisture is needed in the form of sweat or saliva. Too little makes it hard to shine up the rough or bruised areas. Too much soaks into the leather and makes it impossible to produce a shine. 2. Effort. Shining the ball requires serious effort. Shine the ball vigorously. 3. Keep moisture away from the seam to prevent the seam from getting soft.